Hi guys, welcome to another classic in magic. It's gonna be using a deck of 52 cards. And talking of card tricks, just gotta mention, if you're a lover of great card tricks, then you must check out uh, a guy called Trinity. And what I do is I put a link below this video to a trick he did recently, uh, a variation of the 21 card trick, which is absolutely outstanding. You've got to go and watch it. Click on the link below this video. That's Trinity, who does loads of card magic. Check out his channel. Anyway, back to this card trick. We do have a pack of 52 playing cards. Uh, we do need the aces for this particular trick. It is an ace trick. And we'll remove all of these. We'll come back to the other cards in a moment, but I do just want to show you these to begin with. We have the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Hearts, and this one, the Ace of Clubs. Now I'm going to take these four aces, one, two, three, four. We're going to take these and we're going to put them around the table. We'll put uh, one there, one there, one there, and one there. The four aces. Now this is called the collective aces. And you'll see why in a moment. Now out of all of these, I don't want the whole pack. I do just want a few cards, but I do want to count these deliberately so you can see that I'm only grabbing 12 cards. There's one, there's two, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The rest of the pack we don't need. So I'm going to take these 12 cards and I'm going to take one, two, three of them and put them on top of the first ace. We take another three and we put them on top of this ace. We take another three and put them on top of this ace. And finally, one, two, three, and we put them on top of this ace. Four cards in each pile. We're going to take the first one here which is the hearts watch this closely because what I'm going to do is to take this watch it disappear it's gone it really has gone from there let's take a look here along with the ace of clubs we have two ordinary cards and we have the ace of hearts traveling across the collective aces we put those down there we come to this one here this one is the spade i want you to watch closely because you only get to see this once touch any card this one here it's not there touch this one it's not there this one it's not there you've left me with the ace of spades watch just a little flick it's the flick that does the trick and it's gone could it possibly have arrived over here there's the ace of clubs the ace of hearts the jack of clubs and there is the ace of spades we come to the final pack of cards which has the diamond the Ace of Diamonds. I want you to watch closely on here. I'm going to turn over three cards. Put the Ace of Diamonds in there. Before your very eyes, just a flick. Remember, it's the flick that does the trick. Here we go. And it's gone. The final Ace has vanished. It really has. And if we take a look at the four cards here, we've got four, eight, 12 cards. The four aces have now collected over here, cleanly and deliberately. There they are, the four aces. Now, most people think I'm using more than four aces, but if I leave these cards with you, you can check them. All four aces are there. You can check these. There's no other aces used. And that's called the collective aces. Till next time, practice and enjoy. The trick you've just seen is a classic among magicians. It's one of the early ones that you tend to learn when you just get into magic. Now I know some of you watching this video are gonna say, oh, I, I remember learning that years ago. 
So you probably don't want to stick around for this tutorial, but for people that have just got into this uh, wonderful hobby of ours called magic, or you're a, a youngster that's just getting in a feel for card magic, then this is a great trick to start with because it, it breaks you in gently into learning sleight of hand. It's not a difficult one. The sleight that we're going to use is called the buckle. Okay, and I'll show you that uh, in a moment. If you want a better tutorial for the buckle, I'll put a link below this video to a very short, sharp, and to the point tutorial on how to do the buckle count. What do you need? Well, you remove the four aces. I'll go through the routine very briefly because there's not much to it. You remove the four aces from a regular deck. Now, I tend to have them in this order, the chased order, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, okay? And you'll see why in a moment. So clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, and I turn those over. Sorry, I remove those from the pack. What I do is I then grab the pack and I've got to do an exchange, a turnover exchange. And let me show you this. I need to get three cards from the top of the pack. I tend to just say to people, uh, we're gonna come back to the rest of the cards in a moment, and I square these up. I've got a break under here. Okay, there's my three cards. Some people put a little crimp in there bend the card up, do whatever you gotta do. But there it is there. I then take these cards and just put them on top and pick up the whole block. I've now got the four aces and those three extra cards at the bottom. Holding them in the usual grip, fingers at front, thumb at back, I slide off the ace of diamonds and flip it over using these cards. There's ace number one, ace number two, ace number three, and then I then get a little pinky break because I'm gonna put these on top. People think that's just the ace. Of course, you've got those other three cards there as well. You put this on. I've got a break because I can turn over the ace of clubs and then pick up the whole block. It looks very easy and it is easy very falling way of swapping cards out. We now have a situation where people think I've got the four aces. They've just seen them, why wouldn't I? But in fact, we've only got one ace and three regular cards. You need to reverse these. So again, I reiterate, I've got one, two, three, four cards. I then, I don't make a big deal, I don't say look at that. I just casually tilt the pack it a little bit so they glimpse the ace. That's just another convincer that I've got four aces here. And I just say, that I'm gonna lay the four aces out here. As long as that club goes here, you can lay these out in any order. These are just regular cards. This is the ace. They believe they're the four aces. You now have to remove 12 cards from here, but you are gonna take some additional cards, an extra two. What I do is I say, we're not gonna use all of the cards, and I spread these. As I square them up, I'm gonna use my little pinky break on there, and I then tend to just push this off and hold it. What I wanna convince people is I am counting 12 cards. So I grip here, with my thumb. This is just my method. I know other people have other ways of doing this. I have actually seen people who are quite confident actually deal cards down and kind of miscount. They start to deal one, two, three, four, five, like that. They've already dealt two cards down before they start calling out the numbers. But let me just put this back on top there. But you may come up with your own way. Remember, that's not part of the trick. You just gotta get two extra cards in among the 12. So I've got three cards here. Um, I push off those and grip them here. I say, look, I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five. It's clean, it looks clean. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The rest of the pack are not used. We've actually got 15 cards here. I then slide off, squaring these up, keep them square, slide off one, two, three, and just pop them on top. Try and keep all the packets square. One, two, three, drop that on there. One, two, three, drop those on there. Now you don't have three cards, you've got more than that, but you count them as one, two, there's your block, three. Square them up and put this nice and square here. Now because this is over here, people say, will people notice the thickness? Not really, because they're not watching that and you've only got an extra two cards here. Okay, so uh, it's, it's kind of disguised because it's me or you, your hands are gesturing all over the place and things like that. So. You then do the vanish. I'm not going to go through. We know the aces are not here. And this is why I stacked them clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds at the beginning. Because I know that I've got the club there, heart, spade and diamond. So I pretend to do this, glimpse the card. Of course it's not that. I'd say, okay, we're going to take the ace of hearts and, and do whatever you want. You may have noticed I deliberately did an Elmsley count, which didn't really affect the performance it was just to fool another magician but it's gone now this is the deal and you're going to do this for all three i then turn this packet over and this is where the buckle comes in you hold the cards in the left hand you push off with the thumb the top card that's single you then push off the next card here now when you push off the next one, what you do is these two fingers, as I said, there is another tutorial on the buckle count, but you basically pinch there and it creates a little opening. I grab those, I've got all the cards there, but it keeps it perfectly in line and then you're free to flick this because it is a single card, okay? And you put this in the fan I always put it just behind the club. Square these up. They've seen two regular cards and now the two aces. You turn them down, you show these ones, it's vanished. You then flip over and you do exactly the same again. You push off the top card, push off the second. On the third, you're gonna do the buckle. They now see a regular card and then that spade has apparently traveled here. Again, I pushed the spade just here, which is good because it hides the edges and don't have it face on. If your audience are at the front, don't have this face on because someone might say, oh, that card looks thicker. If you tilt them down so people are looking down on top, they don't see the thickness of cards. You put this here, square them up, and then you vanish the third ace from here, flip them over, do your final count, one, two, do the buckle, and then flip the last card, it's singular, and I put this here. They've seen them. You can also just move around, say, look, the four aces. To the lay person, this is great, okay? For older magicians, it seems a bit lame, but it's such a great effect. I can then square these up. Remember, you've got two ordinary cards at the bottom. Square these up, and I collect up all of these, and say, people insist I've got more than four aces. You spread them, and you say, there's no other aces here, and they can even examine the deck. Everything looks clean. And that's the collective aces, a classic in magic. Practice and enjoy.